Almost set. Stand ready. They're off for the Skybird Ebor with John Leeper in the red and yellow having to be ridden to uh, get away from the stalls. Max Vega, red jacket, jumping out down at the running rail with the likes of Shanro and Valley Forsh are out wide. Get Shirty in the light blue has had to drop in towards the uh, rear end of the field as they go towards the end of the first couple of furlongs. Uh, Yukon Glen is among those being held up and out wide Trawlerman is getting his position and he's caught very wide at this stage. Frankie taking no time yet to cross over aboard Trawlerman. Blue with a white cap racing in isolation. Owner make global storm in the just about leading the main cluster. Uh, closest to the running rail. Uh, Max Vega not far off the pace either. John Leap has got a good position with Fancy Man. Uh, they're well grouped against the rail and now Frankie is just beginning to track over to get a bit closer to them. So Trawlerman in front to Global Storm. Earl of Tyrone in the yellow and black just shading third now to Fancy Man in a striped jacket racing in fourth. And then Max Vega, Shanro in the dark blue and yellow uh, being followed through by John Leap, red sleeves with a yellow cap. Owner mate ever present red cap uh, racing down at the running well with the likes of Valley Forge and License who's towards midfield. Uh, Benno's also buried away in midfield with Akita Sushi in the red and green stripes. Might just see the green cap of Candleford slightly worse than midfield. Paces are uh, last call Chester on by the looks of things. Yukon Glen is the back marker. Uh, Garcia in the yellow is held up. Raymond Tusk is also racing towards the rear with Rodrigo Diaz. Uh, Get Shirty has made up a bit of ground on the inner in the light blue. He's got half a dozen behind. Off Chester. A raw blue jacket is in rear. The grey Alfred Boucher has settled towards midfield as they uh, go towards the final five and a half furlongs and begin the swing for home. And it's Frankie in front on Trawlerman. Earl of Tyrone a close second. Global Storm in the raw blue third to Fancy Man, then Max Vega. John Leeper races next. Then Shanro the dark blue and yellow to the grey Alfred Boucher from Ever Present and License and Valley Forge and Get Shirty. And then Raymond Tuss from Candleford and Benno Akita Sushi away to the extreme left. Garcia in a yellow jacket is still in rear from Enemy and Yukon Glen Rodrigo Diaz meanwhile is last of all. Heading on down towards the last three furlongs in the Skybet Ebor and Earl of Tyrone has just about nosed ahead. The yellow and black to Trawlerman the white cap global storm on the right. John Leeper under the rail has every chance. The grey Alfred Boucher trying to thread a passage. Bit short of daylight in behind Shanro then ever present and get shirty. Earl of Tyrone with under two furlongs to go. Alfred Boucher uh, putting his grey head alongside Frankie battling on between them on Trawlerman. Three in a line as they head deep inside the last furlong. Alfred Boucher easing into a narrow lead. Trawlerman battling back under the Tatori drive. Alfred Boucher from Trawlerman. It's going to get very close between the two. It'll go to the judge at the end of the Skybet Ebor. Earl of Tyrone riding behind very close for four. Well, it's stage is Chester. Hard to overtake and Percy's lad gallops on resolutely to hold off. Positive impact, bull ace, pause for thought, Boardman, and on a session. Yeah, Percy's lad, the uh, winner there. Then how tight is this?